What's up guys? Fardin here from Wolf and Physique. Today I'm in Amsterdam walking around shopping with my girlfriend and I'm currently on 50 grams of carbs. I'm currently at my last week of my photo shoot prep and I'm manipulating a few things like my carb intake, my water intake. Yeah, like my carb intake, my water intake. I, I drink like eight liters a day right now and it will, it will go even higher and I piss a lot. I have to go to the bathroom a lot. And yeah, in Amsterdam, if I'm shopping with my girlfriend, it's really like torture. It's like I'm walking so much. If you want to get shredded, shop with your girlfriend. Okay, so at the moment, we're at the damn square. And like I said, I'm on 50 grams of carbs right now. It's the last week, so it's really tough. And I honestly, I noticed a really big difference in my physique overall. But it's kind of fucked up if you want to be social. So I eat a lot at home and I'm strictly tracking my calories and macros to the gram. But today, I'm just gonna eat out. So, but I'm gonna keep it really simple. I will show you guys that later. I'm doing something that's called depletion workouts. Depletion workouts, they're really fucking tough. So, my legs are literally fried, honestly. And I will explain exactly why I do that in the next workout footage. You'll see later in the video. But first, I want to show you the meal I'm gonna get. restaurant I already ordered my meal already but what I quickly wanted to show you was I mean like I came across this picture and I can just see how my face has changed look at this and look at this absolute dark but you can see the difference so I'm really hungry and uh should be happy so the meal I got is just a lot of veggies grilled chicken breast chicken breast with mushrooms and you got some chicken thighs and fries vegetables I will stay away from the sauce though because those add up I I expect that this meal is cooked in a little uh, grilled in a little bit of fat but I uh, assume it's around 1000 calories so I think it'll be fine then Bon appetit! Uh, so you're probably wondering, I was supposed to show you the workout, but it's still the day of, that I was Amsterdam, so I just got back. From now, I got I almost got 20,000 steps, man. It's absolutely crazy, and. I was walking home, I still have to walk home actually and it's still around 3000 steps so that will leave me at 23,000 it's a lot, I'm serious when I tell you go shop with your girlfriend if you want to get shredded it's absolutely crazy but my gym is open 24 7 so that's actually that's pretty awesome and really handy but I, wa I was planning to take a rest day because I was, I was really sore from the depletion workouts but I didn't I uh, I strolled by and I thought let's do my cardio today I was actually planning to but I thought fuck it I get 20,000 steps but I thought fuck it I'm gonna do it anyway <sighs> look skinny as hell really depleted no carbs in the system Dry. 
feel really fucking lean. You really need to clean as well, but it doesn't matter. We got it in. Damn, these abs are popping. Feel really good. Okay, but enough of that. I'll show you the depletion workout and I'll explain what it is and why I do it. Let's go. Okay, so the goal of depletion workouts is to completely empty your muscles of the molecule called glycogen. Glucose is the main source of fuel for our cells. When the body doesn't need to use the glucose for energy, it stores it in the liver and muscles. This stored form of glucose is made up of too many connected glucose molecules and is called glycogen. When the body needs a quick boost of energy or when the body isn't getting glucose from food, glycogen is broken down to release glucose into the bloodstream to be used as fuel for the cells. The body breaks down most carbohydrates from the foods we eat and converts them to a type of sugar called glucose. And when your body has no need for from energy from glucose, it gets stored in the liver and muscles as the molecule glycogen. I hope that is clear. Glycogen gives your muscles a full and dense look. So why do I want to deplete my muscle glycogen? Well, this week I'm drinking a lot of water in combination with a low carb diet to lose the most amount of water in my body to look my best at the day of the shoot. I will explain this protocol in a different video, but bottom line, the goal is to lose a lot of water, but unfortunately you can't lose water at place where you want it to. The goal is to have more water into the muscle instead of under the skin, to have strong and dense look. So by eating a low carbohydrate diet, you will lose a lot of water weight. This is the misconception of low carb diets that make people think that low carb diets are superior for fat loss, fat loss and the best approach to take. But what you lose the first week is mostly water and you can gain the water back in one day. I will deplete my glycogen source by doing a depletion training. You can then ensure a super compensation by doing exhaustive training in which intensive cardio is alternated with strength exercises and which the glycogen stores are depleted from the muscle groups for which a fuller look is required. The body will overcompensate after this exhausting workout, saving more glycogen in the muscles when you refeed than if you haven't fully exhausted them beforehand. So by depleting your muscle of muscle glycogen, by using depletion workouts, your body will store more glycogen inside the muscle than before. This will give you an incredible look and that's the look I am going for. I am mostly doing upper lower body workouts and stay in the 15 to 20 rep zone with one minute of rest or even less. So these workouts are kicking my butt. This way I'm completely emptying my muscles of glycogen to get a super compensation effects, effect of carbs when I eat them again. Done with my last cardio session of 50 minutes. It's done. I will not completely skip my skip out my cardio. I will not, I will not completely skip out my cardio. But from tomorrow on, I'm gonna have my carb day. Honestly, guys. I feel like total crap. It's definitely not healthy. It's definitely not healthy. This week, 50 grams of carbs equals 16 or 50 calories a day. 50 minutes of cardio. It's the last week because I'm gonna drop my carbs. The week before I was on 2000, so it was a big drop. And uh, I'm getting really dry. But I have some issues with this, all that water drinking, damn, I'm eating so much, it's up and over. And, um, 
honestly, I feel like total crap. But looking very lean, so I'm really happy with the result I have so far. And tomorrow I have a carb day. Finally, finally some carbs. I was really getting sick of not eating carbs. I was eating so much vegetables. That was insane. Insane. And I was so hungry this week and all that. I also have like cramps in my legs a lot. It's just I don't have enough um, electrolytes in me because I'm peeing it all out. So I should really pay attention to that. And honestly, even my joints hurt. So it's definitely not healthy. But uh, after a shoot, I'm going on vacation to Tunisia to all in resort. To resort. So I'm really gonna enjoy that and yeah. Awesome guys. So I recommend you doing this if you're only prepping for a photo shoot or bodybuilding show or a men's physique show, whatever. Because this it's not worth it man. It's not worth it. Honestly when I was Booked up, I was pretty lean, but I was not shredded. But I was happy with myself, and yeah, I was I was really happy with myself then. And I was I felt energetic. I was getting stronger. I was making gains. Now the weight's plumping down. And it's just fun. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I will show you the entire carb day. The carb so bad. Really, really excited for the end result. So I want to thank everyone for watching. And if you like the video, like it, subscribe for more content. Because I'm dropping a video every week. So. And put on those notifications so you know whenever I go live and post a new video. It's the end of the video guys. Much love.